What is up guys? We are back with another X570 BIOS overview and today we're checking out MSI's Click BIOS 5 on their Meg X570 Ace motherboard. Now this BIOS should be pretty much the same across MSI's entire X570 lineup. Obviously with different boards there are different settings and things like that or different features but as far as menus and stuff everything should be pretty much the same. Now to start out we are in easy mode and I think MSI's easy mode has a lot more than a lot of other easy modes does really. Um, so up here we have all of our information, you know, BIOS version, BIOS build dates, information on our CPU, CPU speed and DDR speed right there, CPU temperature, motherboard temperature, and then we have our boot priority. And the one thing uh, that's really easy to do here is change your boot priority. So if I want this to load first, I just drag and drop. It's that simple. One thing I did notice though, is that the mouse here, it's just slightly laggy. Uh, hopefully that's something they fix in an upcoming BIOS update, but it's it's not where you can't use it, but it's just a little laggy for, you know, for my taste. Over here we have AXMP, and of course that's your XMP profile on your memory. So we just click on and off. You can turn it on and off and we have two profiles. We can enable one or enable the other. Real simple to do there. Game boost. Now this is MSI's instant overclocking. There's actually a little dial on the board where you can do this without even having to go in the BIOS. And it's set to hardware right now, which means that we can use that dial on the board. Now, if you don't wanna use that dial, you can actually select software and then select what overclock you want. And again, this is instant overclocking. This is built into the board. You don't have to change anything. You just set it up and it does it. And we'll go into what those different values are here in a second. Now under easy mode down here, this is all of your information. So a lot of information is presented here for your CPU, for your memory, and then for your storage devices. Then we have fan info, and this is all of the information on your fans, and you can select different uh, things here, like your different curves and things like that. One thing that is in here, which a lot of people are really concerned about, is the chipset fan settings. Now, it's right here, um, but as you can see, it is running, but a lot of the times it will actually turn off. I have my AC turned off in this room to record, um, but typically it's actually turned off because this motherboard features MSI's zero frozer design, which is much like they do on their graphics cards. So when the fan doesn't need to be uh, used, it's not used. It's actually turned off, which is nice. But we can actually go ahead and mess with all of our curves and stuff like that by clicking the little gear there. And you know you can see everything. You can see everything in real time, and you can see the nice little graph we have here, and everything like that. It's all right here. Um, and of course, you can change different things with that, and you can see all of your temperatures, all of your voltages, things like that, uh, which is really nice. Go ahead and click out of that. Um, and then we have help. And help. This actually will show you. Um, all of the settings for the game boost. So again, we have it set on software, I'll switch back to hardware. Um, but you know, when it's set to zero, no game boost. When it's set to one, uh, your base frequency plus 400 megahertz. The next one is base frequency plus 450 megahertz and it goes all the way up to 700 megahertz. Again, instant overclock. You can also see general help. So if I hit F1, this gives you kind of like your short your shortcuts uh, to sit, you know, see, uh, how you can navigate through the BIOS, how you can get different things. You can see all that stuff right there. And over here we have M flash. We're not going to click it, but if we did, it restarts the system and goes into BIOS flash mode. So if you want to flash your BIOS via a flash drive, you can go ahead and do that there. We have favorites. We don't have anything set up, but you can have favorites set here. And then again, we have that hardware monitor. And again, oops, I didn't click it again. Uh, it just brings up our hardware monitor. We can go ahead and you know go in and change things and set fan curves and see all everything that's going on in our system in real time. We have LAN option ROM. We can turn on or off. Uh, ERP ready. We can turn on and off. LED indication control. So there are a bunch of indication LEDs on this board. So say you forget to you know connect your 8-pin EPS connectors. There's actually an LED there. Uh, that will tell you that you forgot to do it. Um, you can turn those on or off. CSM or UEFI mode, you can you know toggle between those two. Same thing with AHCI and RAID mode, you can toggle between those two. And then you have RGB light control, uh, which you can turn on or off on the board by default. So that is easy mode. Uh, there Again, there's a lot here. 
um, which is really nice. I, I think that some of the easy modes are like really toned down, um, but you do have the things that I would say are important to have in an easy mode. One being XMP, other being boot priority, it's all right here. You can hit F7 or just click on advanced up there to go to advanced mode. You can see we still have this stuff up here, which is nice. Um, but here are our settings and these are kind of like the main settings on your board. So system status just gives you kind of, you know, everything that's going on on your system. Advanced, this is kind of everything that's on the board. So we have PCI subsystem settings. Then we have ACPI settings, integrated peripherals. Again, this is most things that's on the board. So we have our LAN stuff. We have our SATA control stuff, HD audio controller. Again, you can enable or disable that stuff. USB configuration, uh, you can turn on legacy USB support, power management stuff, Windows OS configuration, wake up event, you know, you can set different wake events and things like that. And then secure erase, uh, it's weird that it's in here, uh, I guess, but secure erase allows you to actually completely securely erase an SSD. So if you're selling your system or even selling an SSD, even if you format it, people can still get that information. So doing a secure erase is great and it's right here in the BIOS. And then under boot, this is all of our boot uh, order priority. So you, again, you can do it up here, but if you wanna do it down here and you can do it here as well. Security, you can set administrator password, uh, trust, trusted computing stuff. So if you had a TPM device in there, you'd have more options here. And then chassis, chassis intrusion configuration. Again, you can set that up here. And then save and exit, um, you have discard changes, discard changes and exit, save changes, obviously. Um, restore defaults, I always like that because, you know, you can mess things up and you don't know where that setting is that you changed or something like that. So you can restore defaults. And then you do have boot override, which I love to see because I install Windows via a flash drive as you all should be doing. And you can select this flash drive first and then have your boot priority, of course, be your hard disk. Um, so when the installation process restarts your system, you don't have to worry about pulling that flash drive out. And that is it for settings. And we'll go over here to OC. This is everything that has to do with tuning and overclocking your system. So over here we have CPU ratio. Um, of course that is, you know, to set your CPU ratio. And one thing that uh, I, I don't like is that you do, you can, I guess, move up or down using plus or minus on your on your um, on your keyboard, you know, but I just, I would love to be able to see like a full list of everything that I can select. I can type in auto, I can type in say four, you know, 42 for 4.2, um, but I would just like to be able to like hit enter and then see a list of everything. So I can see how high I can go. Maybe I'm new to overclocking. I'm not sure which what values are there. I would like to see that here. Um, but you can see your adjusted CPU frequency will tell you, you know, what you're shooting for. Advanced CPU configuration. This is uh, a lot of stuff to do with your CPU. You can go ahead and set that stuff. Game boost function. Again, you can set it by the, you know, the dial on the board or in the BIOS. Uh, CPU base clock. You can set that up again. Clock gen features. You can go ahead and change that stuff. AXMP, of course, this is where you set your XMP profile. Um, and again, really easy to set up. So see how, how I have a list here of my settings. I would really like that for our CPU ratios. And, and, and I don't know if the voltages do it, I'll have to check, but I would like to you know see that there. Um, and again, look, for DRAM frequency, I have this whole list of stuff that I can choose from. Would love to see that in CPU ratio. I'm not sure why I can't do it there. Um, and then we have all of our memory stuff, advanced DRAM configuration. So if you wanna tighten up your timings or mess with sub timings, it's all right in here. And then here are all of our voltages. Um, so you can go ahead and change your voltages if you want. And in here, the digital all power, this is all of your load line calibration. So if you are doing some overclocking and you wanna change your load line calibration, you can go ahead and do that here. And um, down here, we have CPU specifications and our CPU technology support. And then under memory Z, this just gives you your SPD information and your XMP information. So all the overclocking is where it should be. It's all in here. It's very easy to find because it's all in this OC menu, um, but it's, it's all there. The only thing I don't like, again, I would just like to hit enter and see a list of stuff here. We didn't check it on our uh, voltages. Let's see if we can, uh, let's see, override mode. No, see, I can't, I can't hit enter and go through. I have to either, you know, use this or type in say 1.4 and do it. Um, 
So that would be nice to see all that stuff because again, a lot of us are beginners and we don't know what, you know, our list of settings or what they might be. So it would just be nice to have that in there. Now, M flash is the same thing. Um, it will restart and go into flash mode. We'll get out of here. Um, one thing that's also nice that I didn't mention is you have help over here. So if you highlight something, um, it will give you help and you can see info on your system in real time over here as well. OC profile, um, you can save and load different profiles if you want. Hardware monitor, it's the same hardware monitor we saw in easy mode. So again, you can set your fan curves and things like that. Then we have Board Explorer, and this is actually kind of cool. I always like this on BIOSes, I don't know why. Uh, let's give it a second here, there we go. Board Explorer, um, you know, again, this shows you everything. So you can see right here, we can see we have our Ryzen 9 3900X. Over here, we can see what we have connected. You know what I mean? Like we, it actually sees that we have a Fnatic uh, mouse installed, which is kind of cool. You can see, you know, things that are installed. We can see we have our Corsair K63 wireless keyboard installed. Just a, just cool that you can see this here. You can see, you know, our G skill memory over here. We can see our Nvidia graphics card. You know, it's just cool to see. Um, but that is basically it on this BIOS. We'll go back into easy mode. I really like the easy mode. Um, again the things that i don't like about this bios is one that the mouse is a little sluggish and i just noticed too when i did bring up that board explorer it is a little sluggish there as well um and just for the fact that like when i'm doing my cpu frequency and my voltages i don't get a list of everything that's available i have to type it in um you know i like being able to type it in too but it was just having a list there just makes it easy for a lot of beginners so i would like to see that as well one more thing too if we go ahead and go to save um, it's going to show you all of your changes. So again, we changed some things around. It shows you all of your changes before you go ahead and confirm them. So you can look through your changes. It's like, oh, I didn't want to do that. And then you can go back and see, uh, or go back and change that thing. Um, so if you guys do have any questions about this BIOS, go ahead and leave it in the comment section below and we'll keep these BIOS videos going. Um, I know you guys are liking them. So if you do enjoy this content, we would appreciate it if you subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next video.